I think the top three takeaways from my experience on the COTS program, uh, one is to make sure that the commercial provider, in our case, if it's a commercial Space Act agreement, the commercial provider is well known and that you understand what their capabilities are. Um, and use that information to identify what NASA resources you would need to bring to bear to help any shortcomings that that provider uh, might have. I think in our case, we have examples of safety review panel uh, support, rendezvous proximity operation support, which went a long way in closing the gap between what we knew and what we needed to know. I think the uh, uh, second thing is to define what NASA needs to define what they're looking for as clearly as possible, as early as possible, to allow, especially a commercial provider, to develop the system, or even more importantly, define the system first so that they can move into the development phase relatively efficiently. Um, I think it's important that uh, requirements don't change too much over time, otherwise there's too much starting over, and Space Act agreements can get stretched out and become uh, uh, inefficient and, and, and not as attractive. And I think the, the, the third thing is um, to let the contractor do what they do best. If you go with the first takeaway, which is identifying what they do best, then let them do that. Uh, they know what they're doing. You, you pick them for a reason. Um, watch what they do. Listen to what they say. Uh, but really form a relationship that's collaborative, that's open-minded, um, that uh, where things may be done very differently, uh, but there's a, typically a method to that. And, and, and let them do what they do best, and at the end of the day, I think it'll be a successful relationship.